Hello and welcome to everybody. Welcome to any of my lovely class members who are maybe deciding to give this number 15 video um, a, a try out. My name's Janet and this little workout is an interval workout. What that means is that it has 30 second intervals of activity interspersed with 15 seconds of rest and uh, those 15 seconds of rest become ever more welcome as we go th get through the the sequences um, within each sequence are four intervals and I build build the interval very basic starting with a basic movement and building the intensity till the fourth one where I will put in some power which you can choose not to do if it's not right for you you can obviously stay at the lower level if that's right but it's great it encourages you to stay <clears throat> working for that full 30 seconds which is very good for us gets us puffing uh, you'll hear a lot of puffing from me through this workout um, and I'm not going to apologize for it though uh, it may be a bit annoying um, but it is the whole point is what I'm trying to do is to uh, challenge myself, challenge the cardiovascular system and the lower body strength to maintain our, um, our ability, our balance and our just ability to do everything into our older, old age. Um, that's all I need to say, except there will be some balance. There will be stretching at the end. Um, this is my new microphone, in case you're wondering. My little white mouse. Let's put the music on. We're going to start <coughs> with mobility. Very, very basic warm-up mobility, really. Getting the joints moving. Pedaling your feet to start. I'll turn side so you can see how I'm lifting, pressing into the balls of my feet, getting those knees moving. Working feet and ankles, calf muscles working. Make it strong side to side, a bit like pedaling up a hill on a bicycle. Now, little squats next. Coming down and up, warming up into your thighs. Just simple, small squats, down and up. Couple more of these. And the next thing, knee circles, hands on the thighs. You can put your weight on those thighs and circle your knees, mobilizing those knee joints and working the thigh muscles. Now picking up your tailbone, I'll turn side, just a little soft dynamic stretch for your hamstrings, lifting and lowering, supporting your weight on your thighs. Now into the spine next, so cat stretch, pull up as much as you can, bringing the shoulders together. Rounding up through the back, mobilizing your spine, and down one more time, coming all the way up. Now step a little bit wider and circle your hips around. Pelvic circles, pelvis circling, go the other way, right round. Now waist twists, so a little twist for the spine, keep still on the bottom half, tighten your thigh muscles, tighten your buttocks, hands round to the back of the hip, couple more of these and let's knee lifts next, so right knee first, up and down, let's get that beat, keeping that lovely posture, knees up and down, and then I'm going to slow it down and put in that hip mobility that I always include. Up and down right, out and round. And bring it back in and a little squat down in the middle, left side, same thing. Now the big arm circle, mobilizing into the shoulder joints a little bit more. Again, right side, out and round. Bring it on back in and down you go. Left side, round and back in and sitting down, stepping forward, lifting and lowering into your left calf, making sure the feet are straight ahead, lift and lower, lift, up and down. Now some just little tucks under for the hip flexor and release, a little bit slower here 
a little bit down into the quads as well. Here we are strength, stretching the muscles that lift and lower that leg. Let's change sides. Right side back, heel goes down. Making sure you can actually feel a little pull in the calf each time that heel hits the floor. Two more of these. Now, that tuck, hip flexor. And down. Just four of them. This is number two. And down. Two to go. Last one. Now I'm going to face the camera again and curl, getting into the hamstrings, warming them up a little bit more. And a little bit of a dynamic stretch for the quads. Now hold it right here after this one. Just bend side to side, roll those shoulders, right arm or left arm, right arm circle, and both together. And getting ready now to begin the first interval of our first set sequence of exercises. Very basic marches. You will hear a bell. The bell's for me. It's in the music and it's for me to know when we're ready to take our rest. Three. So simple marches, lifting up, navel in, corset muscles engaged, arms soft and relaxed by your side. Quite a quick march, a good marching pace. Soft landing through your feet and you can go for a walk around your living room. <laughs> I'm going to tend to stay on the spot with this workout. Very basic moves. Three. And a simple workout. One. Rest. Rest. Now you may already be puffing slightly and you may want to stay at that level. But now I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit into a very soft, small jog. So from the side again, you can see it's very, very soft. I'm cushioning the fall of my feet, going down through my feet each time. Just lifting those knees up a little bit, keeping the core tight. Arms relaxed, shoulders down, so try not to hunch. Keep it relaxed. It will help you get through the sequence, through the interval. Rest. Now I can definitely feel I'm starting to puff a little bit more. That's what I want. Now the next thing I'll be doing is skipping. So a skip. I like this one. <laughs> you can imagine you're jumping rope. Relax the shoulders. You can skip around your living room. Skip forward if you want. Step hop, step hop. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now the rest. Are you feeling more puffed? I hope so. I definitely am. Step touch side to side. Now the last interval is a run. Run, run, run. You could have predicted that, couldn't you? So, quicker, double time. Running on the spot or round, forward and back, side to side. Pump the arms. Make it strong. Hang on to your middle. Keep going. You're nearly there. Three. Two. Here comes the rest. Ah, welcome rest. That's the end of that particular sequence. Now the next one, simple knee lifts to start, and I will build it as we go along. Three, two, you ready? And this gives me a chance to catch my breath from that last, more intense, last sequence, last interval. So nice, tall. Try to get the knees up, low impact, lifting and lowering. Up and up and up. Lift. 
Now, if you want to stay down low with it, of course, do so. Lift. And rest. So getting a recovery during that lowest level of the next interval set. Now a little bit more intense with some arm work. Knees, push, push. Now you can see I'm getting a little bit more of a bounce through my feet. And this push away alternating lets me get this happening in my torso. Keep the corsets tight. Lift and lift. Reach, reach. Four, three, and two, and one. Rest. Now this next one's quite intense, but still low impact. So I'm going to add in a twist, Op um, alternating those knee lifts. Ready, lift. Now you can see I'm dropping down into the standing leg, turning, getting that elbow up to the knee or into the knee, knee to the elbow. Stay with it, stay with it if you can. If you need to rest, bring it down into a smaller knee lift. Four, three, two, nearly there, and rest. Is it getting more welcome? <laughs> it is for me. Now this last one, I'm going to do a step hop knee lift. So power, lifting off, a little bit more high impact. Here we go. Now sweeping the arms. Step hop. Lift and lift. Up. There we go. Stay with it. If you can, up, up. Ooh. Four, three, two. Oh, yes. Ready for that rest. Phew. All right. So, this low level of the next one, side taps, gives me a chance to recover from the last interval. Here we go. Just out in. Out in. Out in, out in. So standing tall, just tapping out and in quite quickly. Course is tight. You can bring it forward. Take it backward. Four, three, two, and one. Now the rest. Now you can predict what's next. It's going to be more intense, still low impact, side taps, but further away with the legs and deeper. Ready? Work. There. Out and in. So much further away, keep the head and chest up. Out, in, low impact. Step out, step in. You can feel that the standing leg each time is getting more of a challenge with this version. This interval, three, two, and rest, rest. rest. <coughs> now I'm going to slow it <coughs> right down, reach for the floor. You stay whatever level is right again. Keep saying that. Here's what we're doing. Much slower, half time with the step out and back. Tap out. Now I'm reaching for the floor. Keep the head up. Out and back. So much stronger for that standing leg. Feel the work. Keeping it strong. And three, two, and last one. Ooh. Fatigue, puffing building. Now the last one with some power. Jumps. But if you want to choose one of the other levels, that's what you should do. There. Now can you see, 
I'm jumping in, jumping in, jumping in, swapping feet with a jump. Push, push, down, up and down with the elbows, upright row arms, stay with it, lace up the corsets, three, two, oh, finished. Huh, next one, we're going to the bench and you may want to go to the floor or the wall, press ups toes on the floor, I'm resting on the balls of your feet, I'm going in and out, chest to the bench, there. Now this also has a lot of core, keep your back straight, try not to let it sag, elbows out, now elbows closer for triceps, backs of the arms, the extensors, Ooh, harder. Three, two, and one. Rest. Lace those hands. Stretch the shoulders a little bit. Now the next set, interval on one foot. Right foot. In and out. single leg, but weight even between your hands, triceps in, elbows close, much harder for me the triceps, they're not as strong, they don't use as much of the chest, more isolated, rest, puffing, <laughs> yeah, it's good. Now the other leg. I'm going to slow down. Left side. In, in, out, and out. In, and out. In. Weight even between your hands. Elbows close. In, away. Again, keep the corsets pulled up. Lift your navel up into your spine. Three, two, rest. Now this last one, I'm bringing in the power element. Starting with the basic press, both feet, and then driving away. In and out twice. Now I'm going to drive away, drop in quickly, and push. Push, four of them, now slow it down, in and push away, you ready, last four drives, four bits of intense interval, three, last one, oh, that's amazingly <laughs> challenging, for me, arms not as strong as legs, now squats. I have to say, these are my favorites. Starting with small squats, coming down and up. Sideways, back straight, knees over your ankles or the feet, down and up. Try to come up, little squeeze each time. Down and up. Another four, three, rest is coming, rest. Now the next one, a bit deeper and bringing in a knee lift alternating. So a deeper squat to a knee lift. Ready? Prepare and down, up, down, up, push. So can you see, I'm going deeper, lifting, deeper, lift, down and up. Four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four. Last one, 
ankle rest. Now I'm going to do uh, a squat with a twist like this, turning. So right down, right down, look under your arm, aeroplane arms, eight more, seven, six, five, come on, stay with it, stay with it, if you can, one, rest. Now this last one, most intense, I'm going to do three bounces and a jump to begin. You may want to not do it, this is the power. Up. And when you land, soft landing, cushion through your knees, lift like that. Now, on the last eight, stay with it if you can. Up, soft landing, through your toes and into your feet. Ooh, puffing hard. Two. Ah, oh, whoa. Hard work. All right. The final set of intervals. I'm rocking and tapping up with the back foot. Here we go. Right side, tap. Like that. Now out to the side and lift. Tap out. Behind, in. Straighten out the back leg. Now a little bit of calf work. Step in, heels up and down. The rest. We'll do it all on the left. So four taps up, forward, side and back. And then those heel lifts for your calves. The left side, ready. So you can see, straightening back through that front side. Now left. Tap in and back. Ready to go back on the left side. Tap in, little crunch down, and extend back. Now bring your feet in, Four. lift, lift. Next set with power. Four. On each side, four pushes forward and back, repeated twice. So forward and back quickly, four times, forward side back. You ready? Prepare. Right side. Push, push, through the balls of your feet. Now side, come on. Really drive through, make it strong. Again left, push, push, to the side, to the back. Ooh, hitting that back wall. Rest. Same on the left, exactly the same. Four side, forward side back, repeated one time. This is the last one. Here we go, make the most of it. Forward back, push, push. Side, come on. Drive away. Go back. Back, forward, back, forward, back. One jack and two bounces again, left side, four, three, two, push off, side, <sighs> puffing, go back, three, two, one, <sighs> we finished, ah, that was good, puffing, and that means that the work was doing its job, Getting you puffing, getting me puffing. Let's cool down and start to do some balance work. So I'm sliding and rocking. One, two, hold, rock. Again, slide. 
Now if the arms are confusing, just leave them out. Concentrate on the legs. Or oh, grapevine, rock, grapevine, and rock. Catching the breath, recovering. Now on the next one, I'm going to bring in the balance. Rock. Now just stay here, straight leg lift off. Lift up your pelvic floor, tighten the corsets, feeling it in round the muscles, the top of the hips there at the back. Now hold and lower, lift and lower. Try not to touch down, I probably will at some point. Another four. Touch down if you need to. Two. Now staying on this leg, single leg squat. Now if you want to do it with the toe down, you can. Or you could do one of each. You could touch and then keep it up. Two more. Slide and rock. Slide or grapevine. Rock. Now go back to the left side. Rock. Lift up. Navel tight. Push off straight legs, straight legs. Feel it here. Supporting around the hip. Ready to lift on the left side. Come back, lift eight of them if you can without touching down up down <sighs> concentrating like mad still on this right side single leg remember you could leave the toe down you could do one of each no toe and then toe or all no toe even better a couple more Slide, slide, now just hold, gently side to side, and we're coming into that right side, knee up, right side up, out and in, up and out, four of them. Now can you go sideways, push away. Tap down if you need it. Try it backward. Up, push back. And back. Now up for a moment. Back, hold. Superman. <gasps> How are you doing here? Let's change sides. Just shake out those legs. Shake out the standing leg. Back to the other side. Extend. Of course it's tight. Push. Now sideways, four. Push. This is my bad side, so I'm very wobbly. Back, but don't look at me, just do your own thing. Four. Now hold for a moment, then go back for your Superman. Bring it up, little squats. Now I'm going to do tandem position of my feet. Heel, front one heel against the toe. Get your weight between your feet evenly. Oh, very wobbly. Now once you've got it, you're on your tightrope. Turn your head slowly and look one way. Come back, try and have your weight evenly between your feet and turn your head the other way. Now let's change feet. Turn your head again. Turn your head. Oh, we're up to the last track. Big breath up. The stretch. Now I'm going to start with my quadriceps today been doing a huge amount of work so holding on to a support if you need it if you've got that balance 
skill than do it freestanding. I wish I could, I would be very wobbly. So pelvic floor up. Once you're holding on to your support and you've got your balance, you could just try letting go for your quadricep stretch. Pelvic floor up, press into the thigh, navel in, developing the stretch in the quadriceps, front of the thighs. Now I'm going to bring that leg down carefully, pick it up, prop it up onto the standing leg, folding forward and feeling the stretch around the hip. Come on up, let's do the other side. Taking hold of your shoelaces, your ankle, your pants leg, whatever you can reach pelvic floor up and navel in, pressing through the down and through into the thighs, feeling that pull all the way up the front of your thighs. Now gently let it come down, pick it up and prop the ankle and sit back if you can. Sit down here. If any of these don't suit, if they cause any kind of pain, obviously don't do them. Working within the boundaries, the safe boundaries of your body. Now come up, a little shake out. Step back with your right side. I'll go slightly to the diagonal. So I'm gonna to tiptoe back, toe straight ahead, until when I get the heel down, I can feel a strong pull in the calf below the knee. Now you can stay up here, or come with me coming down deeper you could stay down a bit lower keep pressing that heel or chest right down to challenge your flexibility a little bit more chest into the thigh fingers on the floor and feel that stretch around the hip of the front leg now try to use the strength of the front leg and your back to bring you upright but if you need to get the support of the leg do it now, bending the back knee, leaning back, lace the fingers and stretch through the front of the shoulders and into the hip flexors. Now, a little step up and just wait back a little bit and sit down into the back leg. So getting into the low calf, changing sides now. Left foot back. Go back to where you can feel when the heel goes down, strong pull in the calf, <clears throat> coming down slowly, chest coming to the thigh, fingertips to the floor. Feel that strong pull in the calf and hold it. Now using the strength if you can, pushing through that front leg, using your back muscles or leg if you need it. Lift up, tuck under. This time I'm going to open my thumbs, roll them back, squeeze back, tuck the chin down a little, get into the back of your neck. A little bit of balance and release. Now, whoops, I didn't do the soleus, so a little step up and sit your weight back a little bit, feel it lower down, and then come up. Side stretch. Other side, and I'm going to sink over. Let's do it again. Sink over, inner thigh, side stretch on the left, other way. Now come back through the middle, rest your weight heavily on your thighs. And now just start to straighten up and you can have the elbows there if you prefer. Pick up your tailbone, straighten your legs. Doesn't have to be all the way straight till you start to feel this double hamstring stretch. Now just release and dangle for the last beautiful stretch through the back of your body. Ragdoll stretch. Slowly, with soft knees, build yourself up, build yourself up, take in a big breath, breathe out, congratulate yourself if you got all the way through, that's great. 
I hope to see you next time. Um, I hope you feel this, you'd like to do this one again. Um, and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you for joining me.